in today's video, we have an unboxing of a refurb project. In fact, we have two. What is in them? Well, I know what is in one. Not sure what's in the other, but with the knife of reasoning, we are going to open it and have a look at what is in here. There's a bit of a clue, but it could be anything. So, let's have a look. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? Yes, this is another one of those boxes that comes to me to be repaired and go back to its owner in exchange for some money. This isn't what I thought it was. So this is the one that I don't know what I did, and I'm in the There we go. What? Okay, I'm confused. We have a Hoover Deluxe cleaning tools box with two of the most destroyed ones I have ever seen. Model Ah, Model 652. Feels very damp. <laughs> very damp indeed. But, okay, well that's not what's in here. God, we have, oh, I hate these. I had these bags on mine and they are utter rubbish. But this is what the main machine is all about. It is a orange Hoover Celebrity, another one. After my orange one. Ah, uh oh. That I have before. Right, you stay down there. Ooh. We have a nice filthy hose, but fairly good. The rubber's not it's yeah, the rubber's not really cracking, I would call that. Ah, uh, yeah. No, I would call that normal. That is normal cracking. Do we have a floor brush? Ooh, someone's been buying computer parts. Genius. No, they bought a battery charger. Ah, no floor to Okay. I'm, not, I'm now actually thinking that these tools go with this. But they've just been stored in this, which is lovely in its own right. So we haven't got a floor tool, but we seem to have everything else. So it will be an S3005. Yep. From November 1974, which is about the same age as they all are. A little bit rusty, but we can probably paint that up. Since it opened itself, we can have a look again, and don't think that's original. And from the looks of it, it just holds the dust, so I think we shall come up with a different solution for that. And then, well, it's fallen off already, as you can see, as they always do. And then as... The other problem with these bags is that the bag door won't close terribly easy. They're not good bags. They are terrible, quite frankly. So, yeah. Nice plug. I don't know what the branding is on it. But it is a plug that will hold electricity. We have a very gently ribbed cable. For you. Which I imagine is the original. So that's good. And then, yeah, all of these tools, which are straight away not the originals. We have, well, this one's not the original. That is, that's an original dusting brush. We've got a hard floor brush. We have one dusting brush, two dusting brush, and then these things, which I doubt even Mr. Hooverlux is going to be able to do much with. Mm. At all. They've been underwater from the looks of that because they're okay this end. And that's mm. it. That is all we have. 
Is that box faded? Is it was it dark blue to be at one I point? Imagine so yeah, because it's quite a nice marbling that effect. The same kind of blue as the actual machine, I think. It's quite a nice marbling effect on it. No, it hasn't. <laughs> it, it's purely functional now, <laughs> not cosmetic at all. So, I suppose the only thing left to do really is to plug this in and see how much it explodes. So it's plugged in. Hasn't caught fire yet. Move the tools out of the way and see if it sounds as terrible as my one did. Hmm. Well, it runs, but. Mmm, there's a smell of eau de carbon dust. Oh yes. In the air coming from the motor. It's not terrible. Why is that? It's not because it's gonna go funny, is I'm it? I'm hoping it's just been used so much there's such a thick black layer of carbon on the com that mm. once it's cleaned off. Yes. It'll be alright. So we should put the ones on and well we can certainly vacuum the laminate with this hard floor brush but that's a bit rubbish so what I've done is got a spare contour head out mm. oh that's better yeah that's got a good amount of suction it's a lovely head anyway That's about that, really. Looking at the paintwork, though, uh, there's a little bit of corrosion there that I'll probably not be able to do too much more with than just clean up. But apart from that, it's utterly fine, really. Once cables poking out back, chop that down and put that back in. But yeah, certainly a worthy candidate for restoration. Lots we can do with this to make it lovely. So this is box number one, really. This is the machine that I knew I was getting. But there's another one behind the camera that I have no idea what's in it. So we'll get this cleared away and we'll have a look at the other one. So in this box, which took almost exactly 48 hours to get to me, we have something else. Now, I don't know what's in it, but apparently the weird man filming me does. Hello. So it'll be interesting to see what he thinks of it as well. Oh, it was it was such a coincidence because when we got when I was talking to the person today and then he said what he'd sent you, I was like, oh my gosh. That makes it even more nerve wracking. But I can't tell you anything else. Oh well, should I ruin it completely straight away and pull the bags out? <laughs> or should I put them to one side? I think you'd be alright. Put them to one side. Oh. Ah. Universal. Ah, there we go. That doesn't um, help Sound you. Sound for me to use. If that, they're probably going to be perfect for the celebrity. Yeah, they would actually. I'm yes. going to stick that to the front. <laughs> right, done. Bags for them. Yeah. What? Oh, it is a junior. Do I spy a one, three, four, six? I've still got the other one in the chest from ages ago. I haven't played, the owner hasn't played with the posters yet. I love them. Oh, they are so wow. nice. Well, that's not going to need retro variety, is it? No, that's mink, isn't it? Brown and mink. I think so, yeah. I think it's called mink. Ooh, we have two pattern parted but brand new tool adapters. For these. Oh. Don't know if we have the belt lifter though. Ah, and then I spy a flat belt junior. This one made in Britain. Uh -huh. As was that one though, so. Uh -huh. But it's got the sticker on it, the dog sticker. Yes. Oh, we have a. Livia. I have a lot of people like plugs on my channel. Do you yeah, know? I like the plugs as well. Yeah. I found putting them in the dishwasher, brings them up like new. I'd, I'll give more of a good scrub and polish the pin. I believe this will be a U1104. Although 
this complete style is not my forte. I'm not the massivest fan of them. No, but, I prefer refurbing them. Well, they're easy to band the metal on, but yes. I don't like them as much to use. But, but that's why I couldn't tell you. Oh, however, I'm about to maybe fall in love with them again because this one is a gift oh. to me. Oh, my God, wow. That is lovely. I, I haven't used one of these in anger for years. Oh, Ooh, now that will be... Oh, yes. The, that um, might make a difference. I've only ever had what those with the older style brush rolling. That is a Hoover activator. Yes. So, actually, might change. While we're upside down, the 1346 is from 1969. Oh wow! Very clean leaves of paint, but oh, well, yeah, excellent very clean. brush strips, huh. which may or may not be genuine. All oh, the wheels have barely anywhere. That is, it's just been stored. Bit mm. of a shame about that. Mm. See if any other collectors have ever successfully painted one of those brown cable, which I hesitate to say is the original because it's not ribbed. But if it's not, someone's gone to a lot of effort to put a cable I think on that there. Is original. That looks, but I don't know, because it's always ripped the original. Really? Yes. Either way, that's a, an absolutely solid wow. cable. With everybody's favourite. MK. MK plug. Mm -hmm. Moving on through the decades to ooh, 1987. Mm. What a good year that was. Oh, that's lovely, that is. No, excellent, fantastic. That is amazing. Oh, even the original bag, right? With... <laughs> hey! Oh, ta-da! Hey, hey! Always use your SIBO bag, people. Oh, that is fantastic. Thank you but, I mean, so like, much. what I do is then put the original bag on the outside, so if you open it up, it looks like you... Oh, I don't go that far. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Excessive. I don't normally either, but re ones I've refilled for other people, I will oh, right, send yeah. them back like that. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. You might try it. My own ones don't don't have both, no, but um, no, but uh, the ones I refilled do. Oh, that is fine. Right. Well, we got. Uh, I think we'll get them together. The time to film this is a bit late, so I think we'll get these together now, and then we'll finish off the video tomorrow. So I shall go and get a screwdriver, and we'll get these looking. Even more fantastic than it. That's almost yellow, actually, isn't it? Yes. It's like it's, a citrusy, that is. I think it uh, could okay, do that. Is a... quite nice. Right, bear with us. We'll get some tools. Right, I have some tools, and we'll start with this one because I was so mean to it earlier. And actually, one of the things that me and Dorian were just discussing was is it actually faded? Hmm. Or is it supposed to be this colour? Because it's. it's oh, no, no. It is faded. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say faded. Oh, yes. <laughs> okay, so this will be taking a trip up to Grantham at some point next year when the sun is out. But again, that's minty fresh. There's no scrapes or scuffs or... Well, bring it bring it up with you next time you come yeah. up. Is and it we'll do in, No. At the time of film this, it's the 28th of September. I think that we're done for Retro Brighton this year. But I did one last weekend. Really? Yeah. yeah that was... A, I put, the, I put the video out. Yeah, that was the exception because it was sunny. It's not going to be very sunny for much longer, is it? We'll definitely do it next year. Yeah. I'll just refurbish it first and then we can just take the bits off. The yeah, exactly. Video. Oh, they're making love. So we'll put the handle on. Exactly the same. You, you can see the parts recycling on these because bolts are the same. The boats is the same. Well, 1987, this is probably quite a late one. So uh, this is like a, is it like a high power compact era? Um, well, it's 1987, but by then the turbo power was well established. When was the... the um, not, not with the turbo power genius, and I think this would have been one of the last ones sold until they just decided to not bother anymore. My high power compact... Yeah. The the plastic box one, that is from the advert. Um, uh, it's a bit of a mover. Yes. Is that from the same era as well? Uh, this would be later, I think. Oh gosh. Yeah. When this was is... that then? 
This is late eighties. All of that was early eighties, wasn't it? Late seventies, early eighties. Because this style first oh, came okay. out in the very early eighties. So was this kind of ran, like ran, a, ran. ran as as a budget one? Yes, basically. I think this was below the turbo power Judy at the time. Mm. It, it, in fact, it probably would have been in the same catalogs as the U one two two zero. And then budget. Oh, we are missing a handle bolt well, though. Which isn't. I isn't the end of the world anyway. It's not in the bag. Huh? Is it in the cloth bag? I wonder if it's in the box first. You know what? That's far too much effort. Are you going to blue peter it? Oh no, I might just have one. Oh. <laughs> Ta-da! I've got... I've got hundreds of these. Yeah. <laughs> loads and loads and... No! I am... Ooh. Oh, it's there. It's on I, the handle. I forgot. Uh, you na I've done the same thing. Yes. Might need the nut. Yeah. What a wally. No, I've done the I same forgot. thing. Yeah. It's been so long since I've had one of these. Well, you don't see them that much. They went through a phase of just being everywhere. Every one of these grabbers getting rid of them. But nowadays, oh, where's my nut? There's my nuts. Nowadays, they are getting a bit thin on the ground. There we go. The nut might be rolling around somewhere, but I'm not that fussed about it. So we'll do the cable. Nut. Probably the original cable. It wouldn't be built in this era. Gotta try, gotta keep that sticker though. So Absolutely. When I first started doing all this cleaning malarkey, I scraped mine off. Well, I see, know. sometimes you have to. If they're really no, bad. it was fine. Yeah. I just took it off. On my Hoover 3 that peeled off beautifully, so I could polish the machine and stick it back on. When I think about what i did now. Yeah. But I was naive back then. There we go. I think it needs to wash the bag. Which is good, because that won't save another wash. <laughs> oh, fantastic. oh wow! Yeah, this is a prime retro writing job for amazing. Me, that is um, stunning. But let's put this one together because this Minky. one is equally lovely. Yeah, that's yeah. See, that's not faded. No, that is the original colour. It is just quite dirty. In fact, let's do the usual, and we'll take. In fact, we probably could do it on that one as well. But we'll so, what are you doing there. with this one, the minky one? What do you mean? What now? Or no, it, what, what is the mission for? For refurb. Ah. Back to new life resets. So this one will come up well. So I was going to say, it looks like it's... The uh, wheels have got nowhere I, I wish I had one like that to refurb. I've got one in the shed for somebody else, but I'm not refurbing it for them. <laughs> wow. Wow. There's yeah, definitely of, not. Oh, gosh, yeah. That definitely oh, it's is. had its suppressor removed. Ah. No, it hasn't. I know I can see it. It's missing. It's no. It's oh the pad. It's no. It's wiring block. Yeah, the wiring block pad. Thing. That's why. Look, uh, the whole side of the motor is uh, smashed off. Uh. Which isn't, isn't actually the end of the world no. because by the time I do take the suppressor off, I'll just put some crimps in there. Exactly. That's not worth scrapping the motor over. No. So yeah. Okay. So yeah. That that probably I don't know though because it's a black and red. Why, isn't it? You might be right. That might be the original. I think it's the original. I'm sure mine is yeah, um, I, is a shiny yeah. one as well. I don't think I've ever seen a non looped cable that wasn't obviously a blatant hmm. replacement. Have to inquire about that. You're probably all screaming in the comments about it now. Um, I can't remember. I don't know. Just, every one I've seen has had a ribbed cable, but that, that might just mean that I haven't seen that many. Or it has just had a very nice cable replacement in the 1970s. Either way, hmm. cable stays because it looks lovely. There we go. So, bottom handle. This one has all of its bolts. Imagine, we'll probably find the nut for that somewhere. I can't imagine it's, it, it wouldn't have been sent. Hmm. But that's fine. Now 
Now this one is more conventional. Trivia, yeah, traditional, yes, conventional. Hand grip is in beautiful condition, though it's done what they normally do and started falling off at the end. But how can you get that back on? Could you sort of like put it in hot water yeah, and then you try just and soak it in boiling water several times? I then slide a pallet knife down the side of it that breaks the glue uh, off and it peels uh, off. But looking at this handle, which just needs a wipe down, I'm yes. just gonna leave it the hell alone. Yeah. I think it's fine. <coughs> we have made an executive decision. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah, these are a little bit of an oddity. As in, I'm not quite sure why I've got them because you're missing a key component in those, which is this. Yeah, the belt lifter. The belt lifter. Well, I've no idea how it's set. So once you get your belt lifter on, it will just. Yeah. Uh... And then you put your hose on. I shall, I shall inquire about the purpose of those. It won't fit that because obviously that takes a pan conversion tool set. Mm, yes. As opposed to that. Yes, it's got his raised badge, which is in very good condition. Yeah, it is in really good condition. See how easily it pops off otherwise. We shall leave it alone. So we have a fine span of juniors. Because this was the first of the plastic juniors. And this was the last. We literally have the first generation and the last, if you just count the Turbo Power Julia and that stupid mid 2000s revival, literally either end of the spectrum. So I think we should have a head to head. I'm done. This is now the next morning, and that means that we can make some noise. Yay! 11pm, so, and I actually realised that I lied in the previous scene, this isn't the first ever Plastic Junior, the 1334A was. What colour was that? That's green, I've got one up in the loft. Oh actually. yeah, I got one, like a GD green, yes, yeah, so, so I got one of them, sitting on the bench. So, mate, so we would have three generations if we did that, but apart from that, it still stands. So, basically, we're going to turn these on and see what they're like. I'm just going to knock the height down on mine. I mean, if you'd like to turn that one on first and we'll give that a go. If you like to... Is the belt on? I don't know. It's not the height. It's not. Its wheels aren't set to position like two, are they? Uh... But then again, you are on the carpet tile, and this is why I have three separate. Aha. So if I leave out the way, try it on all of them and see what the difference they are. Okay. That's stuck there. No. Let's try the thicker one. Yes. Bit too thick for it. This one is kind of yeah. like the Goldilocks carpet. 
Can try it? Yeah, see if we get some agitation. Whoa, look at that. really good I really but I, I like these ones yeah it's this awesome. and the green one I really love them I do like that shape. I do like that style it has to be said more than this but yes. the last time I used one of these was fairly long time ago now that's got the um, agitator activator activator yes. brush roll so Very dry as well. Very powerful. Yeah. <laughs> Sprinkle some rice down. Uh, it's on the table. Where am I sprinkling it? Which one? On the middle one because that this deep part isn't very good with that because it can't beat it around. And there on that go. stuff, it just sucks it up. And then yes. It it out of their systems. No, but I did feel that this one actually did a bit better. That scattered a bit more than this one. Then, because I haven't used this one. You haven't used that one yet. Oh, yeah. Family resemblance. Yes. I wouldn't be surprised if you could fit that into this. Uh, yeah, I can't see any reason why you probably won't do it now. No, I think it'd be better. But that. I do prefer this. Seems to be raised up off the ground higher than yeah. that one. And this, I just don't like this base plate on it. It's weird, isn't it? It's the last facelift of that style, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I see why they try to modernise yeah. it. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Thing. But um, I mean, it, it's powerful yeah. in its own right, and I'm sure it, it does do a very good job. But it just hasn't quite got the the fear <coughs> of Which that is one. the beats as it sweeps as it's clean. It does beat the the mink one. one definitely does better. It does. But I like them. Yeah, they yeah. are there. They are both solid. They both work. They're both they're, they're just dry, really, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Yes, they do need a bit of. They just need a good taking apart, washing, and putting back together, really. So there we go, two juniors and, we did this in the video, didn't we? Oh yes. The Celebrity. Ta da Three generations, yeah, 70s, 80s, 60s, 70s, 80s. Yeah, bargain. I should have got a 1990s one down. There we <laughs> go. So the next time you see these, they will be looking a lot shinier, working a lot better, and hopefully 
good as new, ready to go back to their owners. So thank you very much to Mr. Hoover Lux for helping me with this video. Yay. Thank you very much for watching, and I, and these, and Mr. Hoover Lux, shall see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.